Good afternoon, and um, I'm going to talk to you now about uh, the number 10E, uh, so fifth model in the 1 to 75 range, and that's the uh, the piston popper or Mustang piston popper because it's essentially uh, a Mustang um, fastback uh, Mustang. Um, right, um, I think this is a great model. Uh, as I said before, you know this is this is my period, and I love you know anything sort of muscle car you know, um, big engine cars, that sort of thing. So this is this is a particular favorite of mine. Um, the three box styles you'll see here, uh, the early um, I box, uh, then we went to the, the J style box, and they also did, th this is a generic uh, window box because they actually renumbered this in the sort of, like, you know, the late 70s, early 80s, and it became number 60, and that was mainly for the American market. And you, and you will see the piston popper, um, you know, in a blister pack, or the, the, the American um, uh, generic type boxes, but it is exactly the same um, casting basically. And as you see here, they just introduced it with flames and you know one or two other things. Um, so you know that's that's quite an interesting variation. Now, as for the models here, okay, we have a, a pre-production pre um, in orange. Uh, the, 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 the the normal issue is the blue. Uh, the white is um, it's not a it's not a color trial of pre-production. Some people think it is, but it's not. Um, it, it's just a very very rare issue. Um, some people have told me that you know it appears in like a, a, a multi-pack or something. I've never seen it in a multi-pack. Uh, whether whether it was actually issued in a in an I or a J style box, then we we don't really know. If you've got information that I don't know, you know, please enlighten me. I'm quite quite happy to share it with you know uh, around the world with with, with people. Um, so it might be nice to get a, you know, perhaps something from the horse's mouth uh, about the white piston popper. All I can tell you is it is a very rare colour, and also the the the, the yellow one here, um, which is again is 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 a later issue. Okay. Um, now this this hat does come with tampo prints as well in later issue. Uh, so to get it without tampo prints again is you know, is, is very difficult. Now we'll talk about the um, the pre-production one. And the first, you know, obviously the first thing you see is obviously orange. But here's an interesting fact, okay, that the pistons themselves are actually orange rather than red. Okay, so that's quite a nice feature uh, for the pre-production. And we can look at this in closer detail. Now, this here's something that I only really noticed in, in very recent times, is that if you look at the front of the engine here, okay, it's pretty much smooth. Okay, the later ones had these sort of slats across here. Now, I like to, you know, well, I would assume that this is a radiator. It's a radiator uh, top because you can see the little radiator cap there. So, um, I think that's a radiator. Uh, Pre-production models, early issue models, they'll be smooth here. Now, very interestingly, the box artwork shows smooth here. Isn't that fantastic? Okay. Personally, haven't seen uh, a blue with the smooth uh, radiator here, but it does exist, folks. It does definitely does exist. Okay, so if you want to be totally purist and have exactly the mo uh, matching box art, then you should be looking for a blue one with the smooth radiator. But it very, 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 very difficult to find. And as I say, the normal blue one, you know, satisfies me as a collector for matching box artwork. Okay, so this is the this is the orange um, pre-production, and it is you know not a colour trial. It is a pre-production, and you'll see why in a second, because lo and behold, we have a super fast branding rather than rollermatic. Okay, so any piston popper with super fast base, you know, is considered to be pre-production. I actually met the guy uh, that um, that developed uh, that particular model, the piston popper. Uh, and um, you know, I, I, I was lucky. You know, I'm lucky to where I live. You know, I've been lucky to be connected with these people that worked at the factory. And um, yeah, just it's just just great to meet those sort of people. And uh, yeah, he he actually developed the the, um, the Rollermatic range. And um, funny enough, I, I did actually have a prototype Rollermatic of the of the um, Wild Cup Wildcat Mustang with window wipers, uh, which I did sell probably about 10 years ago and it's tucked away in a collection in Germany um, so uh, so that was the first sort of prototype um, uh, Rollermatic but uh, but this chap yeah the, 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 the first um, 
mass-produced Rollomatic is, you know, is the piston popper. Uh, so, so there she is. So I think that's a fantastic variation. I, re I really do. Okay, and we'll just go back to the um, the main the main picture there. Okay, um, the the eye box. I didn't find any variations. Uh, it may well come, you know, without the new text. Um, I don't think I've seen that. Again, if you've got one, let us know. Uh, went into the J. Um, not seen it without new because it wasn't it wasn't a new model in the J box. So, so that covers the um, the piston popper. I think that's a I think that's a lovely little model. And then uh, we'll move on um, to uh, the uh, Plymouth Police car, which I'll do on the next post. So thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.